Hi there, life path number six. How are you? This is Healing Hands. How you doing? Guys, you are the nurturer of all the life path numbers and we're here to do your reading for the month. And I say the month is starting from whenever you come across this reading, okay? Whenever you come across my reading, begin to count a month. That's when the energy is supposed to last. But these are timeless readings, which means it doesn't matter if you came across this video a year from when it's posted or six months or two years. It doesn't matter. That's when your one month begins to unfold. Life part number six. Let's get one um, card overall. You know, message that, you know, spirit wants you to know. I pulled um, a few cards. I got into your energy. Your message came across very clearly to me. And I'm going to give you that message in a few minutes. But I don't know why they want me to pull this card. Not only I pulled this card at the end of my reading. But I guess they want me to pull it, you know, pull it right now. All right. So, Holy Spirit, what is this message from the card? I see something about abundance. Okay. All right, I do see something about abundance, but here it talks about, I am learning that all problems resolve themselves. It's all about letting go of control and allowing the universe, all right? Um, letting things unfold naturally, not controlling the outcome of anything, not um, holding on or attaching yourself to expected uh, you know, outcome of any problems. He says, when, a, when you have a problem, a desire exudes forth from you and source hears it and answers it immediately. Once you remove your attention from the problem, you then allow the solution. Give birth to the question and let it go and allow the answer to flow. Awesome. Beautiful. All right. So life path number six. Let me tell you guys, this is going to be an interesting reading because I got something about culture, <laughs> something that had to do with, you know, sharing cultural ideals. All right. And I immediately started picking up the energy of, you know, some kind of multicultural thing. Um, some of you might be in a multi kind of cultural relationship or working for organizations where, you know, there's diversity, but this is a, a strong um, energy around, you know, accepting other people for who they are, accepting other people's culture, even opening yourself to learning about them, about understanding, you know, the other person's perspective or their point of view and understanding that everybody cannot be like you. People are allowed to be different. You too, you are allowed to be different in your own ways, in your own spirituality, on your own journey. Everybody do have their own unique unique life path, their own unique life purpose and their journey. All right. And it can be relegated to the background and it can be discounted. Um, we have to respect each other's boundaries, especially when it comes to sharing of cultural ideals. Okay. So it just tells you to be enthusiastic. All right. Be an anthropologist, study other people's culture, interact with them and never dictate what is right or wrong within somebody else's belief system, somebody else's cultural system. Um, so, uh, you know, it's not meant for us to actually understand what makes other people tick. All right. And I'm not surprised we got this energy here about just, you know, remove your attention from something when you, you just leave people to be the way they are and let God work them out or work out their issues. All right. You focus on your own. And I also got a strong energy about, um, you know, um, you not, not, not um, dictating what other people need to do. But when you're, you know, when you're studying about other people, or their culture, or what makes them different from you. Do that purely for the purpose of exchanging ideas and, you know, for the positive reasons, natural curiosity that is within you. And let it be the only reason why you are interested in another person and what's going on in their life. So what this card is saying is just suggesting for you to embrace that part of yourself a bit more, all right, of opening yourself up to learning about other people and the reason why they are the way they are. Don't be afraid to explore and share with other people what you've learned about these other people or other cultures, but do so from a place of neutrality and genuine loving kindness, all right, and uh, knowing that the ideas that you share will help other people also on their spiritual journey. This card also um, 
made me, um, you know, feel as if, you know, some of you may have found yourself on a, a, a journey or a path where it looks like you're the odd man out. You're doing things differently. People might not understand you because you're different from them. Maybe you're culturally different or maybe you are, you know, your spirituality, you're different from them. You're not typical. You're not, um, um, you're not like the usual people that they encounter. So people might treat you differently. And if that is the case, all right. Um, you know, I mean, the spirit is just telling you to stand in your power. All right. Do not allow people to intimidate you. Stand in your belief of what you know is right. As long as those believe as, you know, like from a, a good place, then let spirit do the rest. OK, especially some of you have found yourselves in um, situations where, you know, um, you're not being treated fairly in your situation ship or your job or your your you know community or where you worship or where it doesn't matter where it is. OK, if you find yourself being di treated differently, all right. Um, spirit is like, just let spirit handle it. It's not, I mean, do stand your ground. Of course, I'll never tell anybody not to stand their ground because, you know, we can't let people treat us anyhow. And, 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 and it's, it's that way. All right. We always have to stand up for what we believe, but we have to do it from a respect, respectable or respectful place. Okay. Not in a forceful way. Allow everyone to embrace their own culture and beliefs and to separate, celebrate their diversity. L allow your own diversity to be se celebrated by people just the way that you celebrate other people and their cultural differences and their diversity. So I picked up a lot of energy about, you know, um, relationship that might be multi multicultural, um, you know, maybe a black person dating a white or somebody from this country dating another country or, you know, somebody in long distance relationship, you know, dealing with somebody who is like totally different from you. Maybe their religion is different. Maybe their value system is different. Um, you know, culture is different or something. All right. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be that for everybody. Okay. But spirit is just telling you, um, that your job is to serve the function of bringing people together. All right. Learning about those ideas, sharing those ideas without judgment or even forcing you know them to change. And just wanting you, in case this is what you're doing, to stop pushing your belief on other people. Or maybe, you know, sometimes or somebody might be doing this to you. All right. And uh, Spirit is asking you to stand firm in your right to have your own beliefs and to celebrate the difference that you have from other people. OK, never let anybody um <laughs> and never let anybody relegate you to the background or treat you any different than you know any differently because of your belief system because of your cultural ideals because of your religion you know it, it's really just letting you know that okay so that energy came across strongly for you guys life path number six now the next energy that i got said something about leaving home now this could actually you know be traveling for some of you but that's why i also said i got that um energy about you know, long distance or people living at a distance, or it could even be people who are emotionally distant at this time, dealing with people whose emotions are switched off from you. All right. It looks like they are distant. Um, they've left your relationship. They are no longer in there. They are no longer participating. They are no longer feeding you or feeding you with love or giving you that equality in your relationship that you desire. But this card is basically talking about us being able to integrate all the lessons that we've learned from, you know, different situations that we found ourselves in and allowing ourselves to evolve as a result of this and allowing ourselves to be able to, you know, move on from people sometimes, move away from them, like especially if the lessons are done and it's complete and there's nothing else to learn, it's okay to move away from them, all right? It's like leaving home, leaving your comfort zone, leaving a familiar territory, all right, which is okay, all right. This can also tell you that you do, you know, asking you to do your spiritual, you know, homework, make conscious and courageous choices and find your own path, not to be afraid of who you truly are and never let anybody make you feel like you're less than what you are. OK, this card, when it comes up, it does represent a type of new birth and the importance of consciously creating your own future starting now. Stand firm in what you believe. Stand firm in, you know, those things that 
make you different from other people in your culture belief don't let uh, some of you come from homes where maybe your family do not accept your um religious differences or religious belief and some of you were you know born in one religion and then you all are vying away or moving away so that is like living home for for you it's like you're separating yourself from something that you're familiar um with something you know family and you're moving in your own footsteps in your own direction and um you know, considering your own journey as an evolutionary journey or evolutionary path, which can be lonely in some ways. All right. And this can, you know, when, especially when you're doing something that is different from the, the normal, it can seem as if, you know, um, you know, you're walking alone into the unknown. It's like you don't know, but, you know, you know, you're following the spiritual guidance that you're receiving. You're doing your own thing. You're crafting your own journey, crafting your own way as you go, relying heavily on your intuition and just going with the flow. And whoever does not like you, well, it's uh, leave them to the divine. Okay. So this card is also telling you that you may have to make some choices to walk a path that is solitary at this time. But remember, it might be solitary, but if it's authentic you, then that's where you need to be. So rather than what society, religion or family pressures you to choose, you know, um, you will choose to walk a unique path that is different from those that are around you. Make sure that you're doing this, not because you're rebelling against um, anybody or the society, because, you know, re rebellion comes from, you know, a place of unhealed issues that we have our attachments to. But make sure that if you're doing this and you're choosing a lonely path or you're choosing to be different from everybody else, you're doing this because this path is an authentic expression of who you are rather than, you know, you just trying to prove a point to people. So Spirit is asking you, stand in your authenticity. And as long as you are in that place of authenticity, you can just live your life and let Spirit do the rest. Okay? So basically... Make sure that it's not coming from a place of ego. It is simply an expression of the natural flow of the universe working through that physical expression of you on this earth plane. All right. And Spirit wants you to understand that in the end, we all must have the courage to leave home in order to recognize our true home. All right. Sometimes we have to leave our soul tribe. I mean, leave what we grew up with or what we've known all our life to move in a new direction and find new home, find a new tribe. And then the next energy is a number 22, which is a master number, which is a very spiritual number. And you guys can go Google that and find out what it is. But it is um in this deck, it's, it's, um, um, I think it's called Hephaestus, Hephaestus, and it has to do with work. Now, guys, Hephaestus is the son in the in the Greek mythology is the son of Zeus and Hera, and he was born crippled. But even though he was crippled, he was Hera's favorite son um, because he was very talented at you know craftsmanship. He was the um, he was a sweet, gentle soul. Um, good natured God who created many magical things. He was, you know, um, he claimed that he created Pandora's jar and also created Achilles shield. So his, his creations uh, were filled with magic and they were so great that, you know, um, his, his parents, Hera absolutely adored him. All right. And what this card is just saying is that, you may need to take a step back and see what is occurring in your life. Um, it's a dig it, you know, it is dangerous to immerse yourself in the heat of any battle without a sense of how and why you're there. Because the saying it's equally dangerous to remain oblivious to the need of battle when you are in danger of losing yourself and your ground. Okay. So um Sometimes we may be the outcast of the family, our family. We may be, we may be the lonely person in our family. It doesn't matter. But Hephaestus was a divine blacksmith. You know, he's the God of the creative fire. And what this is just telling you is that something wonderful will happen when you do the work because it's all about work. All right. Telling you, you do your own work and leave the rest. 
because Hephaestus is a craftsman who like, you know, imbues his work with love and passion and creativity. He enjoyed what he was doing. Um, and th this, you know, might not necessarily have to do with school work for some of you or actual work for some of you. It's just me telling you, keep sowing that little seed into your life. Be passionate about what you love to do and put your energy into it and continue feeding it, you know, um, dutifully and religiously. OK, and now is the time for you to pay special attention to the inspirations that you're receiving, you know, for this new for new things or creating new things in your life or creating new things in your environment. And telling you, if you understand that, it create, you know, creation has its own consciousness, you must be willing to also, you know, put the work in. All right. You may need to put a lot of hard work on this journey that you have chosen for yourself. All right. But you make sure you're doing it out of passion and you're doing it out of devotion and on honesty and authenticity to who you truly are. OK, spirit is just telling you to be bold, be assertive. All right. Life path number six. Wonderful energy. Now, I would like to pull other um, cards to see what else. All right, in other areas of your life, what could be going on? Let's see. Relationships. Okay, we ain't taking all of it, spirit. No, no, no. Life path number six. Let's get what is... Um... All right, it looks like there's a lot. I see self-love. <laughs> okay. I did pick up an energy around abundance. See the way they keep pouring your cards. Okay, this is crazy. All right, I'm going to leave this deck for now because it's overactive. All right, too hyper for me. So let's pull this, Holy Spirit. What is the energy? And I feel something intensely around my um, collarbone and my and the upper my upper right and left arm. There's an intense energy that I feel I just felt it. I mean, it's still there, sweeping through. It's like going back and forth like this on my collarbone. I don't know what this energy is. There's something about you needing to clear your secret space, needing to clean your, you know, your your home or, you know, sage your home or have um, some kind of salt bath. Uh, but Spirit is telling you... Um, you have to release low vibrational emotions and you know let go of toxic people or relationships or jobs so that you can rise above and asking you to implement healthy habits get rid of toxic energy so some of you may be dealing with toxic situations or toxic people there's another energy asking you to be prudent it says it's time to govern, you know, and discipline yourself by the voice of reason. Now is the time to be discerning and only move forward if you access your risks or you assess your risks to result in a favorable, fair outcome. Others will try to sway you. Use care, caution, and good judgment. Remove yourself from risky situations. Keep a cool head. Stay in control. Like part number six. There's something here about the king of wands, king of fire. This is a very fiery, passionate king. It's full of action. So spirit is telling you do the work. All right. Take action. It says um, this can represent a masculine energy that can be an astrological fire sign or can have a dominant fire sign in their natal chart. And it's saying the king of fire displays traits like passion. We've, so, we've said something about passion earlier on. Intensity, creativity, love for community and leadership and fierce and protective brings transformation, transmutation, um, um, daring, dynamic, and enthusiastic. Did I say something about you being enthusiast enthusiastic earlier on? I think I mentioned that. Okay. All right. There's something here about your self-image. And it says we are all perfectly imperfect and must be mindful not to downsize, degrade, or dull the shine of our light. This is an omen, omen to signify that attention is needed on your own self-image or to be made aware of how other people around you are seeing themselves. Love the entire being that is you. Be kind to your reflection. So in case you're dealing with a situation where 
People are isolating you. People are not appreciating what you're bringing to the table. Spirit is like, you know, don't ever lose yourself in whatever this is, okay? Because all that energy we picked up about somebody being a, a, on a lonely path, somebody taking the you know journey, detour, you know, leaving home or leaving what is familiar or going a, a, a rebellious route or what seems to be a rebellious act because you're not um, conventional and you're not, you know, um, aligning yourself with what everybody, where the crowd is going. Remember... The path to enlightenment is a narrow path. The road that leads to heaven is narrow. It's not wide. Everybody else can be rushing in one direction, but you are just going in this narrow, narrow path and you will definitely get to your destination. All right. So you may be dealing with somebody who is a queen of air. So I'm seeing two um, powerful energy here. Somebody who is a fire sign and somebody who is an air sign. Okay. So it could be you. It could be the person you're dealing with. But if you're a fire sign, of course, you, you can be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. And if you're an air sign, you can be Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. All right. But the air sign talks about, you know, somebody who is an intellectual, who is a deep thinker, also have leadership quality and innovative ideas. You can analyze and communicate very well, write very well, speak and have the ability for problem solving. Hey. You guys are life path number six. Your number is about problem solving. It's about compassion. It's about harmony. All right. Okay. So this um, air, air sign, you know, you know, is an achiever and a pioneer. Okay. So let's move on to another deck. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? So I like to pick up like different um, decks and different energies because I know this is not a personal reading. So I want to try to pick up the energy for as many people as the Holy Spirit will be leading to this video so they can get all get their messages. Um, so please take what part of this reading resonates, resonates for you. I can't speak today. My God. Take whatever resonates for you, okay? And leave the rest for the next person. Here it says, not sold on you. Not sure where it's heading. Needing more time before deciding. A lot of doubt and confusion. Is this somebody that you're dealing with or is this you? Is there something, a situation where you're, you're not sold on somebody or you're in deep thought about something? It could be, a, you know, it could be a business venture. It could be a, a work situation. It could be a project. It could be an idea. It could be a relationship. Somebody needs more time before deciding. They still have a lot of doubts and confusion at this time. All right. And the next energy talks about, you know, somebody who is dwelling in uh, energy of fear and the fear is blocking a connection because they are scared to take a leap of faith, but they are losing sleep due to this fear. All right. Because if somebody is in this energy of doubt and confusion, of course, they are operating from like a low vibes and, you know, part of their ego. All right. So there's definitely low vibration here that you have to watch out for. And something here telling you everybody wins in a situation um, that everybody will get what they want. All parties will come to an agreement and there won't be any hard feelings on any side. OK. All right. That's interesting. Um, let me pull a couple more. Holy Spirit. Is there any message? Any other message for life path number? Okay, I do see something about happiness. Here, I'm so, I saw something about abundance earlier on. You know, but that message hasn't come on strongly. But there's something here about receipts, which means somebody needs proof. Maybe somebody is thinking they are not sold on an idea or concept, a business or a person, and they are looking for more proof. They are looking to get more clarity before making a commitment. Okay. But spirit is like, you know, get out of your head. <laughs> get out of your head because everybody wins in this situation. Sometimes we dwell in over analysis paralysis. All right. And we allow triggers of, you know, past relationship to, you know, kind of affect our, you know, forward movement, especially when it comes to um, other, you know, relationship with other people. Um, some of us may operate from a place of fear based on re past rejections, um, things that have to, have to do with our self-worth. But I do see something about divine mission here. You know, sometimes if we've, we found ourselves in a relationship where our self-worth has come into question, it can affect the way we view subsequent relationships and, you know, needing to heal that part of us 
in order to um, be whole, all right? So there's something here, you know, so this could be a marriage situation or something with regards to a higher level of commitment, some type of higher level commitment because we have a pair here. We have a king and a queen. We have somebody who is very passionate and fiery, wants to take action. Yes, we have another person who is all up in their head, who likes to think things through, who likes to make sure that they are making uh, you know, the right choice. They are thinking clearly. They have all their facts. They have receipts. They are being triggered. You know, they have, you know, clarity about where they're going. They are being triggered by, you know, subconscious programmings and um, her from previous relationships or past lives past life you know baggage but there's something here that says you're dating someone who's married may and who's married and may entail many restrictions and even more difficult can be living with the bitter truth that you're sharing them wow so we're picking up an energy of somebody who is dating someone who's married or somebody who's married dating what are you serious? Holy Spirit, can we pick up more? Actually, I want to use this deck. So, uh, we're picking up energy of some, you know, marriage in question here. Somebody who's been abused or being, uh, you know, being abused or is abusing somebody. Somebody who needs help. Wow. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? This is crazy. All right. So... Somebody might be a smoker. Is it you or the person you're dealing with? <laughs> Is somebody smoking or in the uh, closet smoker? Some people like to smoke in their house. They don't go out and do it. But there's something about energy interference here. All right. There's something about energy interference in a relationship. Um, it looks like there's a relationship that, you know, maybe off course at the moment. All right, maybe going through some kind of gaslighting. Somebody not fully committing. Somebody making you feel like you're the one doing something wrong when you're not. Making you feel guilty when you're not supposed to be guilty. Or shame when you're not supposed to be ashamed. Somebody who has bipolar. There's something here about jumping into conclusions. And playing with fire. Someone loves to play with fire here. And all this relating to past life karma. Okay, so I hope you will be able to figure out what this karma is for you and um, just settle the score once and for all so you can keep going on your life path. We've gotten a lot of messages for life path number six. I think this reading is long enough. All right, I need one more card, Holy Spirit, and then we can close this reading out for life path number six. Jeez. There's some, something about asking you to put in the work, all right? It's talking about laborer. And, you know, a laborer is somebody who's always hard at work, loves what they are doing. It's all about, you know, creating things with their hands. You know, it's all about craftsmanship. It's all about, you know, seeking perfectionism in what they're doing. And it says a new job or some kind of, you know, coming to you. And it says something about construction, maintenance. But what I'm getting mostly is the, you know, craftsmanship. Like we got this energy of Hephaestus, which is like um, the God, you know, that, that was very, very versed in in um verse in 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 um, craftsmanship we do have i have a ton of my cards littered on the floor here life path number six so i don't know it looks like some of you are dealing with something that is chaotic because i'm picking up that energy all right but there's something here that says take action yes something about your emotion something about justice about change envy parenthood patience media about loss, investment, persistence, rebel, arguments. Take whatever resonates, okay? All right, life part number six. I hope this was helpful for you, all right? Until next time, this is Healing Hands. Bye, guys.